please welcome to the stage, Nimesh Patel! She is going to be shit and glitter for weeks. <laughs> shit in my day. <laughs> but a clown eating glitter? <laughs> What's left in common? <laughs> I'll just quit. <laughs> Penny, I want, before I start, I want to say thank you for uh, this institution. <laughs> this, is, this is the first Open mic that gave me the confidence to hit on white women. That's what it is. <laughs> it's a big, big thing. Yes. <laughs> true. I uh, I live I live in, in Hell's Kitchen. Uh, it, nah, it's not. A, it's a cool place, but. After 8 p.m. becomes very dangerous for your ego if you're a straight dude. Because there's a lot of gay black dudes judging every life decision you've ever made in your past. Life. There's one dude with a fishnet shirt on. He yelled at me. He's like, "Your socks don't match your shirt." I didn't know I had to do that. That's a lot of fashion advice coming from somebody who's dressed like a cheese grater. You know, like this. <laughs> it's like unreasonably gay. It was, who, has those, who has those kinds of expectations? That's a lot to expect from somebody. But I did learn something from this dude. And that's that being gay can't be a choice. This is a gay black dude. No one would choose to be gay if they're already black. <laughs> no black dude ever woke up in his life and was like, you know what? My life is too easy. <laughs> I'm gonna put on this Madonna halter top, a <laughs> on the tutu, and some Jordans, and I'm gonna make every straight dude very uncomfortable. <laughs> That's a good premise, right? Please. No. I watch a lot of um, nature documentaries because I do drugs, and I was watching one on Netflix uh, called Animal Odd Couples. It's great. If you haven't seen it, there's, it's like there's a dog that's friends with a, a cheetah, and a tortoise that's friends with a bird, and a lion that's friends with a coyote. It's like real life Lion King. It's great. <laughs> but I was watching it, and I realized that human beings aren't shit, because at no point in this documentary about interspecies relationships did they interview the animal's grandparents saying, oh, we don't believe in that relationship. <laughs> So that's another, that's a good premise too, right Pete? I like that. <laughs> I don't... You know ants never have traffic? Does that bother anybody else? <laughs> ants never have traffic. This fucking bo Human beings are the top of evolution. There's like LeBron James and then there's us. And yet, and yet ants never have traffic. They're always like the ant can carry 10 times its own body weight, like in these documentaries, which is the human equivalent of a person carrying 10 people. I'm like, yeah, I know, man. And then it's, it's never the other way around. Right? It's never humans invented America. Because that would be an ant equivalent of a bunch of white ants leaving their monarch, crossing thousands of miles of the federal ocean, conquering red ants, importing then enslaving black ants, and then, and then hundreds of years later electing a mixed race ant president. <laughs> they that never happens, and yet ants never have traffic. I would, I would trade second term Barack Obama for no traffic for the rest of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would, I 
will do it, I'll say I mean that shit. What has he done, really? What has he done? Really? NSA, Guantanamo, minorities still gotta pay taxes, that's bullshit. I should, you got, white people should have to, have to pay twice the taxes. Okay, fine, I knew I'd be losing. I think it was worth a shot. They all seem like liberals. Uh, this is my thing with liberal people. Liberals, I'm not necessarily liberal. I'm, I'm liberal, like, I'm cool with gay people, but I'm not cool with gay marriage. Because I only care about shit that affects me directly. And I got a gay cousin, and he's an asshole. <laughs> he deserves no happiness. <laughs> And then they're like, you know what? I'm never having calamari again. That's my gay cousin for gay people. <laughs> what do I have left? Like 30 seconds? You have 55. Oh, the shit I can do in a minute? <laughs> uh, I, went on, I, did, I went on a date recently. But it, no, it ended in a fist bump. No. It was one of these. 